Speaking of those debates, let me ask you about something that you said at the debate last week. You used the phrase inside job to describe what happened on January 6th. The next day, Capitol rioter Alan Hosteller uh, highlighted your comments at his sentencing. He is going to prison for 11 years. Hosteller uh, threatened members of Congress. He brought a hatchet, knives, pepper spray, stun batons, tactical gear to the U.S. Capitol. Are you concerned that a convicted felon like that is now promoting your comments in court? So here's my concern, Abby. And I want to tell you guys where I'm at. If you had told me, it's close to three years ago that January 6, 2021 happened. If you had told me three years ago, back when I was a biotech CEO, not steeped in this world, I was just consuming passive media, but was focused on my world of developing medicines. If you had told me that January 6 was in any way an inside job, the subject of government entrapment, I would have told you that was crazy talk. Fringe conspiracy theory nonsense. I can tell you now, having gone somewhat deep in this, it's not. I mean, the reality is this. We do have a government, first of all, we have to acknowledge that has lied to us systematically over the last several years about the origin of COVID-19, about the Hunter Biden laptop that we were told was false by 51 CIA experts and otherwise before we now know that it was true. You can go straight down the list, the Trump-Russia disinformation collusion hoax, all of it. Now we come to January 6th. The reality is we know that there were federal law enforcement agents in that field. We don't know how many. I think it's Mr. shameful, Ramos, if, if I may finish just answering well, this, let me this, just, is, this is really I, I'm important. Gonna, I'm going to go ahead and interrupt you here because, because you're saying that there were federal agents. You're saying that there were federal agents. We should agents. be able to talk about this. You're saying that there were federal this is, agents. This is important to talk about. This, you this are saying important. there were federal agents in the pad on, on, yes. on January 6th. Yep. There is no evidence that there were federal agents in the crowd on January 6th. So, so why, before Congress, when pressed on what the number was, they didn't say there were none. They just couldn't so say how many there were. So you're saying that there is no, that you have not seen evi- any evidence so that we've there seen were, multiple, and so you assume that there were. We've seen multiple informants suggesting that there were. We know people were, we know people were FBI informants who were asked to Is do there this. any evidence? May I, may I, may I just, may just there, finish me, this and well, you can me, come back and question me? Well, let me clarify. I know this is very uncomfortable for you. I'm going to clarify my question I know this is an uncomfortable issue for many people, but we have to do the truth here. I'm going to clarify my question because I want to make sure that you understand what I'm asking. I understand this. Deeply. And I told you, I was where working three years the, ago. I'm where not there now. Where is the evidence? Yes. Where is the evidence that the government had a plot, so let's do this. an inside I, job, but no, no, I'm going to tell you what inside job to is because I'm not going to. I'm not violent respect, on January 6th. Where I'm not going to let you put words in my that? mouth. I'm going to put my words in my mouth, and I'm going to tell you what what where I mean by that. Where is the evidence that the government was involved Entrapment. in planning or executing okay. January 6th? Where so where I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you hard facts, and if I may, Abby, I know this is going to be a little uncomfortable. But we're gonna we're, we're gonna go through this, and you can and you can you can push Just back on it. For after the evidence, that. and you can push back on that. And let's do this fairly. Why did they suppress footage of now what's been released? Two hundred hours of footage of shooting rubber bullets into that crowd, shooting tear gas into that crowd. You didn't see that before. You saw what the response was to that. Uh, now you see Ms. footage coming out of actually rolling out the red carpet. For Capitol Mr. Police allowing Mr. people in, again, right through the front door. The vast door. majority I mean, of that the footage video evidence should have been released shows, before, Abby. Mr. Ramaswamy, the vast majority have been of the before. footage shows and my deeper police question officers is this. being overrun and, and I want to talk about one more case. This is really important. Writers. That's yeah, I'm going to give you hard, I'm give you some hard it, facts. Of it shows. So what, here's what entrapment you can't is. You cherry pick. I'm not cherry picking. You if I may finish, Abby. If I may finish, Abby. I'm not cherry picking. Examples. To the contrary. To the country. You know who cherry picked the government? That is what happened. The government, that that happened the government cherry picked 12 hours of footage when there was 200 hours of footage. The cherry picking was the government, not me. Release so, the whole thing. And let me, let me just finish one thing, too, because this is super important as a topic. So when you, when, I think this is a civil libertarian issue of our time. When we Gretchen talking, Whitmer's kidnapping. I want to keep it, I want to be really clear on this, because it's the same issue in the same FBI, same even part of the FBI. Three people who were in an alleged plot to kidnap Gretchen Whitmer were acquitted at the end of trial. Because it was entrapment. That is, government agents put them up to do something they otherwise wouldn't have done. They gave them credit cards with spending limits of up to $5,000, encouraged them to buy munitions, plan something they weren't otherwise willing to plan. So much so, and I want people at home to know this, especially CNN viewers to know this, is that one of the jurors went to those defendants and apologized afterwards, gave him a hug, apologized, seeing what the government had put a poor guy up to who had to go to some Mexican restaurant across the street to get hot water. These people were exploited with credit cards up to $5,000. FBI agents 
putting them up to a kidnapping plot that we were told was true but was entrapment. 14, Same thing with the Capitol Police. People Mr. letting Ramaswamy, them in freely. Many of those people Mr. then Mr. being Ramaswamy, charged. Ramaswamy, look. The government cannot I, put you up I to do something and then Mr. charge Ramaswamy, you for Ramaswamy, it. Look. That's wrong. I don't want to have to. Wrong to the left I don't, right, I don't, don't want to I don't wanna have to interrupt you. I really don't. But I don't want you to mislead the audience here or I'm at not. home. I'm not. I think they've been misled 14, by the mainstream media. 14 people, the mainstream media has misled them. 14 people the were charged in that plot. Yeah. A majority of them were convicted. I said three of them were acquitted right, on but, grounds of entrapment. What you, what That's folks, a fact. What Dispute folks, me. Was I wrong about what that? What folks need to understand. Was I wrong about what I said? What I was not. Need to understand three people is that were acquitted on grounds of entrapment. Nine were convicted. A juror apologized. Nine to, were convicted. Yeah, but, you, but the three who were put up should have never got to that stage of a trial. But back to the January 6th issue. That's unacceptable in the United States. Look, I, I just want people to understand. Three people were acquitted. Nine people were convicted I in that you, plot. Adam.